cup. Hey, what's going on all you beautiful builders out there? It's always good to have you back here at the Black and Red Builds headquarters. Today is a beautiful day here in the FLA and we're going to be working on our RoboCop from Fan Home. We got box number 8, stages 27 through 30 of the Fan Home Build Drone RoboCop. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here we go. Already got our cut open. Again, I have a couple of these, so I wasn't sure which one was which. So let's go ahead and get this thing open and see what we got inside. All right, we have a t-shirt, this, this shipment. We will take a look at that at the end of the video. We got all of our parts here. Get those out of the way. And let's get our magazines out. All right, we got an empty box here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. All right, let's see if we can do it. Here we go. All right. Works every time, people. Give that a try. Better than sending it off to the dump or recycling. Just gets rid of it completely. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to be doing issues 27 through 30. So let's go ahead and get started with issue 27. All right, here we are with issue 27. Let's go ahead and get a look inside. RoboCop. Thumb through till we get to our parts here. Looks, kind of, looks like we're going to be working on that left thigh and uh, putting these pieces together here. And when we get done, we should have the completed uh, left leg all together. Let's go ahead and look through the rest of it here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get going. All right, guys, we're going to be working on the outer rear left thigh. We have part 27A and 27B, and then we have 27C and two of the CP screws. And we're going to be connecting these together uh, just this way around. You're going to slide in like this. We're going to connect them together with this 27C bracket here. It's going to go right over these two holes. And we're going to screw that in with the two CP screws. Get the Fantic electric screwdriver out. If you guys are interested in this, there will be a link to it in the description down below. Go ahead and get these screwed in. All right, guys, it's going to look just like that. All right, we're going to be bringing 26C out back from issue 26. And we're going to be connecting it to the 27A and B that we just completed. And they're just gonna go on just like this. All right, and then we're gonna screw this one in here with the CP screw. All right, then we're gonna get our other 27C out, this uh, bracket here, and we're gonna put it right here across these two studs at the bottom. And we're gonna screw those in with two more CP screws. All right, guys, it's going to look just like that on the inside and like this on the outside. Nice. Look how nice that looks. Again, I think I've mentioned it before, but I like how it's darkened in all the lines. It's almost like it's already been pre-washed uh, to give it that look. Very nice. All right, guys, we're going to bring the rest of our right leg that we've been working on, and we're going to be connecting this together now. There's different pins that go into the holes. Pins on this one, it goes into the holes on this one, so let's just get them pushed in together. I think that's got it. Now we're going to lay it down here, and we're going to connect this together with four EP screws here, 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 and here. I'm just going to drop these down in there, and we'll screw them in. All right, there we go, guys. Nice and snug. Now we're going to put two more EP screws in these two holes here and here. The screw hole is down in down inside there, but this is an open space underneath here, so you got to make sure you got your magnetic screwdriver. 
and then fish the screw down in there. There, got that one. Let's get this other one. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna flip it around this way and we have part 27D, that's this piece right here. And it's got two pins on it and it's gonna go, it, it really only will go one way. If you try to put it the wrong way, it's just not gonna fit, I don't think. So put the pins in the holes there and push it in. Just like that. All right guys, and that's the end of stage 27. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 28. Right here, stage 28. Let's get a look in the magazine. Flip through real quick, get back to our parts. Here we go. Here we're gonna continue on working on that left thigh here. Uh, we have these pieces that's gonna go on the front of the thigh, just like this. All right, and when we get all done, I'm gonna have our completed left leg looking real good there. Cruise through the rest here real quick. All right, let's get started. Okay, guys, we still got our left leg here, of course, because we're going to be completing it in this issue, and we have the left thigh front here that we're going to be attaching. This is part 28A, and we're just going to line it up with these studs here. and just fit it on, push the pins in, just like that, okay? Okay, now we got four BM screws that's gonna be going in these four holes here, 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 and here. We're gonna do the two inside holes first, that's what it says to do, so that's what we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna drop the screws down in the holes just like that. Here we go, I'll go ahead and secure those down. Right, now we're gonna put the other two in. All right, there we go. You know, this is the left thigh front rib and we're gonna be placing it on. We're just gonna press these uh, three studs into these three holes here, here, and here. Just put it on there and push it in. Just like that. Now we got the left thigh OCP plate right here. And that's gonna be going over that rib that we just put on. Uh, it just matches the shape of this black area here and uh, you just put the pins in and just press it in just like everything else that pushes in very simple just push it in nice and firmly there it is just like that now we've got the outer hip cover here and that's going to be covering this spot here and there's one larger pin and one smaller pin that's going to go in the larger and smaller hole so it only goes on one direction Get it lined up and pop it in just like that. All right, now I'll spin it back around this side. And we have another hole here to fill. And we have part 28E to do that. And it's got a key shape on it, as you can see there. So it only goes in one direction. We're just gonna put that in and push it down in there. Just like that. All right, guys, so here's one of the things that aggravates me about these builds. Um, just a little bit of a rant here. Uh, they gave us this piece here in 24, uh, stage 24, it says 24B. It's a little bitty piece that goes right here over these two holes, and it looks like this. You're supposed to save this, you were supposed to save this piece for later, you didn't use it in that stage, and that's, you know, been, uh, you know, four stages or so earlier and now I can't figure out what I did with it. They could have just easily included that in this stage, in this box, but instead they put it with this big piece, you know, stages ago, and said to save it for later. So, I mean, I mean that's just so ridiculous. It's just a little plastic piece. Could have easily been put in this box, uh, but they that's what they did. But that aggravates me a lot in these builds because you're supposed to keep track of these tiny little pieces. And normally I don't have an issue with it. And I, like I said, I keep them all in the same box, but I can't find it. I've been looking and looking, I can't find it anywhere. Uh, 
Fortunately, it's not going to hold us up in the build, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on from here, and I'll just try to find that off camera and uh, try to get that uh, put on. But anyways, guys, that's the end of stage 28 for now. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to stage 29. All right, here we go, stage 29. Let's get a look in there real quick. Scoot right on back here to our parts. It looks like we're gonna be working on that right calf and uh, getting ready to attach it to that right foot that we just recently done. And we'll be connecting that calf onto that foot right here. And then we'll have this little section here done. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. All right, guys, we're gonna get that right foot out here and we have uh, 29D, the spring, and 29C, this metal piece here. Yeah, we're gonna be taking this metal piece, it's got these ridges on one side and it's smooth on the other, and we're gonna be putting over this ankle piece here that has the ridges on the inside. So that's gonna be how it snaps, clicks around. We're gonna put that on top just like that, and then we're gonna put the spring over the top of that. Now we got 29B, that's this piece here, and you can see it is keyed to fit over that metal piece. And we're going to just put it right over the top of it like that. And then we're going to screw that in with an RM screw. Set the screw on there like that. And let's go ahead and get that screwed down. Go ahead and get a regular manual screwdriver for this one. So we can get that nice and snug. There we go. Just like that. Okay. It's going to look like this. Should be able to rotate a few degrees forward and backwards. Okay. All right, now we got our inside of our right calf here and we're gonna be putting that onto the ankle. We got two holes here that's gonna fit over these two pins like that. And we're gonna screw it down in that top hole with one FM screw. I'm gonna go ahead and put a dab of oil on this one. That other one was kind of tough to get because I didn't put any oil on it. Just put a little oil right in there, just a little bloop, just like that. If you're interested in what kind of oil I use, this is the Liberty Oil Products. It's 100% synthetic lubricant, and it works really well. I'll have a link for that in the description down below. We're going to go ahead and put this back over the top of it, just like that. We got our screw on. Let's go ahead and get that screwed in. Nice and tight. We've got our manual screwdriver just to check it. Yeah, it's tight as I can get it. All right. It's going to look just like that. Okay, that's the end of stage 29. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 30. All right, here we go, stage 30. Let's go ahead and peruse through this real quick. Get back to our parts here. Here we are. This is the uh, right leg support, uh, the tendon looking piece on the back. We're going to be attaching this onto it. Uh, and it's gonna look just like this when we're done. Oh, we got the other one here and this one's gonna be here. On through. Here we go, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we got 30A and 30C. And uh, we're just gonna set 30A into 30C just like that. And now we're going to bring 30D over, and we're going to set that over the top of that, just like this. And we're going to screw it in uh, here and here with two BP screws. Sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background. They're running around playing. All right, there we are. It's going to look like that. Right, we're going to bring our foot and calf back out here. Okay, we're going to take this back off. They had us put it on before, not sure why, but we're going to go ahead and take it back off. Just like that. And then this, because this has to slide over the bottom. It can't go over the top because of this piece. So this has to slide over the bottom. And it's going to go this way around with this piece facing downwards. Just like that. And now we're going to screw it back in. Just like that. This piece is gonna sit in here. All right, and then we're gonna take this piece and it's gonna slide in to the top of this, just like this. 
and just push it in. And we'll probably glue that in just like we're going to glue the other side in uh, because it will keep popping off. But uh, for now, we'll just leave it like that. All right, guys, that's the end of stage 30 and the end of box eight. Uh, so let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. Okay, guys, like I said, that is the end of box eight. Uh, we have the full, uh, pretty much completed left leg here now. Look at that. Look how big this thing is. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be really big. But here it is. Uh, we have this piece here. Let me put that on again. Again, like I said, I'm going to end up gluing that on, but uh, there it is. Looks really good. Nice. Again, there's this uh, piece that goes uh, right here. I have to locate it. I got to find it somewhere. They, they, they give you these tiny little pieces way before, and uh, you're supposed to hold on to those and then use them later. I don't know what I did with it. I looked all through the box where I keep my parts. I can't find it, but I mean, it's got to be here somewhere, so I'll find it and I'll put it on uh, here. So, And then we have uh, starting the other calf right here. All right, guys, so this is coming along really nice, and I'm really enjoying the build like I enjoy all these the fan home and like Agora model builds. They're a lot of fun to me. Uh, so like I said, if you guys are interested in this particular build or any of the other builds, I'll leave a link to the website in the description down below. Hey, I almost forgot to show you guys the shirt. Let's go ahead and uh, open that up and let's get a look at the shirt. There we go. There's the shirt right there. It's pretty cool. I like the, just the black and white look of it with the uh, Robocop on there. Very nice. Uh, this is definitely not going to be my size. It don't even say what size it is. So it's a uh, looks like it's about a large. Uh, not not going to fit me. I'm a bigger guy than that. But uh, maybe down the road. Maybe down the road. A decent decent shirt. Not the greatest quality. You can see. Pretty thin, but uh, you know, for a freebie, not bad, not bad. I like the look of it though. Very cool. But anyways, guys, just wanted to show you that. That is the shirt that comes with this uh, when you order it. So there you go. And if you guys are enjoying these builds, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. It helps the channel out immensely. And then walk right over there and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time I'm Chewy Solo. And this is Black and Red Builds. See? Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.